Hey everyone, Eric on Paper here, and in case you hadn't figured it out, I'm Eric. So we got a pretty cool episode today. Uh, we're going to be looking all at the Prowler in the Spider-Man 4 fan film. I'm going to show you a storyboard introduction, talk you through that, and then a pinup that I did of him. So we start trucking along with the Prowler, that means the camera will be moving parallel to him. And then we're going to get this great close-up of him running at the camera as the camera moves out and also tilts up. And that tilt up will reveal Spider-Man framed against the moon as he fires a web at the camera, remembering to create depth and motion the entire time, as well as give a really cool shot. A quick insert of the web hitting uh, Prowler's foot, causing him to lose his balance, and then we're going to get depth as Spidey's coming toward the camera. Prowler, already in front of the camera, is going to turn around and face off against him, and we need to establish that the Prowler is going to be a viable and deadly threat. So I added in this shot, where his claws are going to be glinting against the moonlight. Okay, now for this piece I went primarily with a brush uh, for the outline and a lot of the detailing. And after inking it and looking at it, I realized it was similar to the pose that I'd used for uh, Bren as Spider-Man, but it's a really cool pose, and I think uh, it gives the Prowler a sense of menace and this kind of lurking, watchful quality. And I decided late, early on that I was going to spice it up a little bit and play a lot more with the environment. And uh, because I haven't 100% mastered the brush yet, I'm using it in concert with Micron markers. And just to give feathering and details, like making sure that the uh, capsules on his armor have more of a metallic sheen, and I do that by uh, inking in a darker area and leaving the majority of it white. Now the Prowler's role in Spider-Man 4, he is going to be featured in the early montage as well, along with uh, Shocker, Rhino, and a couple others that I'm not going to reveal just yet. Uh, and whereas the shocker, which will start the movie, is a big special effects sequence with all kinds of light rays and webs being uh, shot back and forth, uh, the Prowler is going to be a vicious, brutal hand-to-hand -hand fight. Oh, and here I'm just using the brush, uh, using some dry brush techniques to indicate a brick texture. I didn't feel like drawing bricks, but I didn't also want to have an uh, empty space, so... Thus, a happy compromise. And now I just am going in with the white uh, gel pen and uh, correction and added as much rain as I could. Uh, this adds more to the environment, I think makes it a bit more cinematic. The Prowler is going to feature the film's first hand-to-hand -hand fight, and it is going to be intense. Actually, we're going to be filming it last, mainly uh, due to the fact that uh, we're 3D printing his claws, and we don't want to risk damaging the Spidey suit. Like all good superhero fights, it's going to take place on a rooftop. And I want the Prowler's style of fighting to be very direct. Um, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from Into the Spider-Verse. I love that movie, and I uh, thought Prowler looked great in it. And it's going to be a brief sequence, um, obviously in the beginning action montage. But at the same time, it's going to be very memorable. Fans of the Prowler are really going to love it. I am looking forward to filming it, and uh, it's going to be exhausting for uh, everyone involved who's uh, doing the stunts in action. And I'll just be, you know, sitting behind the camera cheering them on. Now, what I'm doing here uh, in the art is adding the first series of highlights and with a colder color temperature, uh, matching the same direction as the rain, and uh, flatting rain, especially with the technique that I did earlier, is not fun, but the result is well worth the effort. And another thing too, uh, now that I'm thinking about it when designing these fights, is that I'm not going to have them be choppy or filled with shaky cam or anything like that, because I am a big martial arts movie nerd, and one of the things that I enjoy about the really good ones is the uh, pulled out camera angles and the longer takes, and that's really what we're going to strive for uh, in this film. And even a character that's going to be more violent and uh, cutting, like uh, the way that Prowler's going to fight is obviously using his uh, claws to his advantage. And even keeping that in mind, the temptation I think would be 
to have a really choppy fight to say, oh, we're in the Spider-Man's headspace. Well, while I can understand that as an audience member, it's not something I would ever enjoy. So I'm really making a film that everyone would enjoy. And really, I want the, uh, the fans and everyone to see a really good fight scene. Now what I'm doing here is adding a secondary light, and I'm imagining this comes from like, I don't know, a building light, uh, too high to be a street light, but uh, basically making sure it's uh, not in the blue-green color palette that's been established for the rest of this uh, drawing, or the rest of the scene. And the highlights are going to serve to make everything pop out and bring the drawing to life. Now the way I'm rendering the drawing uh, is very reminiscent of the comics that I uh, grew up with, uh, a lot of the image comics in the uh, 90s, and even though the coloring technique I would say has gotten a lot uh, more subtle and better over the uh, uh, since the 90s, there's something about the flavor and feeling that I want to capture, and uh, funnily enough, speaking of the 90s, that was my first encounter with the uh, Prowler character is um, I used to have this old CD-ROM. Uh, it was of like the Spider-Man cartoon maker based off the 90s show. And I think it was basically just graphics you would put over backgrounds. It, it was really cool for its time. I thought I was making like official Spider-Man cartoons, but the Prowler was a character in there. And I remember him having a single animation, but I had no idea who he was. I hadn't seen that episode yet, or maybe I missed it or something. But I was just always captivated by this mysterious figure. And of course, since then I learned who he was, but that was my first encounter of him. And now uh, getting to direct the Prowler uh, many, many years later, it's pretty exciting for me. And I almost want to bring that mystique that I first had looking at this uh, mysterious figure uh, to the screen. And uh, the costume that we're going with may be a little bit modified from this. I just chose uh, to do his classic costume, and I think, uh, oh yeah, and also don't do that level of rendering I did on the jaw. It gives him a weird looking mouth shape. Instead, you just kind of want to light the rim of his chin. I wanted to say with the opening of the movie, we are going to be setting the bar really high. Uh, this opening montage is going to be very exciting to do. Uh, I'm going to be drawing the Shocker next week and uh, showing you a couple storyboards from there too, as well as discussing what we want to set up. And this uh, fight with the Prowler, as I mentioned, will be the first hand-to-hand -hand fight in the movie, but certainly not the last. And the thing is, whenever you're planning a first fight scene, it's, you, it's like an introduction to the audience where you want to set your bar high, but you don't want to give away your best moves or coolest moments yet, because then the audience has seen your entire uh, hand. So you want to hold back a little bit, I tend to find. Now here I'm just going in and adding very subtle rain uh, reflections and pale blues to uh, throughout his costume. It helps break up the flatter areas and give it a more of a wet, uh, drenched feeling. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to film the scene in the rain or not. Uh, more than likely not, just out of uh, safety's sake. But if we can somehow swing that, that is really cool. Just know that simulating weather is a very difficult process. I just more did it for the drawing. Oh, and here's going to be the final color grade. I flatted it a little too brightly and wanted to push it down to get more of that eerie feeling and also when I start making prints of these I don't want it to look too muddy. And now the final effect is just going in and giving his eyes a bit of a glow and the final piece. I had a lot of fun working on the Prowler and if you guys want to see any characters or ask me any Spider-Man 4 questions please let me know down in the comments I try to always get back to you. Uh, next week, I will be doing the Shocker as he appears in Spider-Man 4 and talk about his role in the film and what you can expect. I am really looking forward to doing that. And uh, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching, and remember to keep telling your stories.